as you do in old man. It's going down in a major way. I'm here. Look, let me let me let me introduce you right, man, because I definitely gotta do this, man. Hurt the human hummer. First, I'm gonna do the professional thing. Hurt the human hummer. The midday show, Power 102.9. You doing your thing, but on a personal note, this is our family, man. You know what you call a friend? A friend is somebody that's there for you when you're in need, right? right. So that's what you've been there for us. When we were in need, you were there for us. This is our family, man. Hurt the human hummer. What's going on, big brother? Man, it's always a pleasure, baby. Like I can say, look like we just switched places here. Yeah, okay, you see me? I'm putting on. I gotta stay away from them steaks. You heard me? They doing me in. You say, man. You know, I have to watch my diet now. You know, age starting to catch up with me, but I'm still able to be here. Like you say, it's all good, man. It's a pleasure. It's a blessing to see that you guys are still doing y'all thing, man. You know what I'm saying? You know the way that y'all bring what's going on in the city and around the areas to the world. It's, it's, that's what's happening. What's up, man? So, what's, what you been doing, man? What you been doing? I mean, I, you, I know you've been doing your thing, but I mean, I, I know you got you got a whole repertoire of things that you be getting it on with, man. So, I have you been, and what's been up with you? Well, you know, I'm still doing the music business. I'm, I'm still in radio. You can catch me on the, the midday. Every day, Monday through Friday on Power 102.9. You can also log on to Power1029.com. Check us out. You know, you can download the app to your smartphone and listen to me every day, 10 to 2, on Power 102.9. Me and my man Jimmy Clever, we're still putting it down. Humpy Productions, you know, I finally got my own thing. You know, I'm still still got love for Stony Bar Records. That's where I started at. You know, I'm doing a lot of engineering work with Universal Records. And one of my biggest projects is that I'm finally blessed with my very own nightclub that I'll be opening up Mighty Gras 2012. That's right. We're going to be located right on the corner of University and Canal next to the Orpheum Theater across from the Roosevelt Hotel. So, hey, man, whenever you... That's whenever a beautiful you, location. Come see us, man. Come see us. That, that's a very beautiful location, man, to be in the heart of the DDD, man. It's a beautiful location. So how did you come about with the, with the club venture? Well, it's, it's, been a, it's been in the making for five years, even years when we go back. When I first met you guys, we've been talking about me trying to get my own club. I sat down with, with some family members that are financially stable enough to where they can financially back me with the project. And I sold them on the idea. I'm the brainchild. And, you know, they, they, they got a lot of, they got a real, real heavy influence in on it. And, you know, we're going to make it work. You know, I'm known for for rocking a lot of clubs around the city and big ups to a lot of the clubs, you know, like I'm doing my thing here at Braxton's tonight. Will you still be doing your thing at those clubs and those venues? Oh yes, definitely gonna be doing my things at, uh, at those venues. I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff at Harris, you know, I'm gonna get a night going back at Harris, but I'm gonna be primarily be focusing on what I'm gonna be doing at my club. I'm gonna try to bring a variety of stuff to the city since I'm in a location that's gonna attract tourists with a lot of things going on with a lot of events and you know we're you know we're event city now and with the film industry and stuff going on it's going to be a lot of things that i'm going to be focused on and my it's going to the focal point is going to be my nightclub it's not going to be just a nightclub it's not i'm going to try to bring something different i'm going to try to give new orleans a real vip club yeah. So, as an entrepreneur and a businessman, how important for, for us as, as black entrepreneurs to venture off and, and launch these businesses and, you know, replenish the city, pay taxes and all those type of things? Well, one thing is that, you know, start with small monetary goals. And as you attain those goals, it's going to make you want to set bigger goals. Have a focus, put down and get a plan together. You know, ask, your, ask yourself this question. Why would someone want to come to my, my place of business? Why would someone want to do business with me? And when you're able to answer those questions, you'll be able to be successful. And then always put God first. You got to put God first. You know, he ain't going to put nothing on your plate that you can't handle. You know? If you have faith of a mustard seed, he'll do the rest. You can move mountains, baby. You can move mountains. And, you know, help each other. Networking. A lot of people talk network, but let's do some networking. You know, we can all come together. You, you, you find different nationalities and other nationalities or put their whole family in one house until each person has their own house. And I think as a black America, we should, you know, learn from some of that. You know, we got a lot of successful people around us. It has nothing to do with race anymore because we have access to a lot of the same things that other nationalities have to be successful. 
So with that being said, let's utilize some of those tools. Let's let's put forth some of those those ideas. Let's step out on faith. And you never know. Murder has plagued this city for years and years and years, man. What 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 can we do as leaders, as people that's in the forefront? To, I, I mean, we can't outright stop murders because murder is going to happen. But what can we do to subside the murders and, and 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 reach out to the people more? Not only us. I'm talking about people in the corporate world, those who sit behind those desks, those who who really can put the money and 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 and, and put and, and do some nice ventures for the for the community. Well, first thing I can say, start with yourself. Get rid of any evil in your body, get any any evil thoughts, anything in your heart, you know, get rid of that. Start with self first. We can't help everybody, but we can help somebody. And if and if me and you both help two people, those two people are gonna help two more people and it's gonna spread. So let's 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 put out a good virus, just like doctors and scientists do. If you have something ailing you, they will go find a virus that will attack that. So let's let's come up with an, a virus that will attack it. And if we put that virus in our young, in our youth, in ourselves, in our leaders, and let them spread that virus, it'll it'll take care of it. So what's the state of the city right now, Hurt? How the city? I mean, you you've been in the mix for a while. What's the city feel like to you now? The city is growing on one hand and it's dying on the other. It's a very uncanny balance right now. We're growing with the film industry. We're growing with sports. You know, we finally got a Super Bowl under our belt. Thank God for that one. It looked like we on our way to another one. You know what I'm saying? I'm with you with that one. Really? And, and with the city flourishing again, you know, Katrina was a wake up call. But the state of the city right now is that, the, and, and I hate to say that it's the youth, but it's a younger generation. If we can go back the way you and I were brought up, you know, like they say, spatter raw, spoil a child. Right. You know, I, I think that we need to put God back in our life more. That's, that's been real controversy, not to mute your prayer, because I want to come back to that, because God is, is actually at the forefront of what we need to be putting back in the community. But, you know, it's a controversy where we say, well, you gotta point the finger at yourself. So many people wanna blame everybody else for our problems. When we really gotta look at ourselves and say, what can I do to be a better human being, a better person, and set an example for those who are watching me? You know, we gotta, we gotta stop pointing the finger. It's just like, if we're in a room and there's an elephant in the middle of the room, nobody's talking about the elephant. Okay, then we start talking about the elephant when all we gotta do is get up and open the door and let him out. So, instead of pointing the finger, playing the blame game, the damage is already done. Don't damage no more. It's already done. Let's talk about what we need to do to fix it in a very productive way. Because we also get it twisted when we gossip, thinking, well, let's talk, oh, they bad, they wrong for this. And we find all the faults, but we missing one fault. Ain't none of us getting up doing nothing about it. So we got to get up and do something. If you want something done, do something. You know, what you gonna do? You gonna, like, like the old saying go, you gonna meal do a barbecue, what you gonna do? Skipping to another subject, you said, you mentioned earlier that you and Jimmy Clever still click clacking. What's going on with Jimmy Clever, man? We really miss him, man. I know you really been doing this thing, but we have been removed from the city for a few years ourselves, but what's going on with Jimmy Clever? You know, we, we, we both caught a couple of snags in our personal lives. And thank God we've been able to work it out. And I think that we've grown to where now we're in a better position to be able to move forward. You know, he, he just released uh, Audio Journals 4, which is going to be his final mixtape, because we're now we're going to release. Leaving the mixtape phase, right? Yeah, we're leaving the mixtape phase, and we're going, you know, we, we're know, we going to get into, a, into putting out our original stuff. And we also got J3 Jingles, which is our own jingle. We do jingles and skits. You know, we're both characters, so, you know, you can you can find out more about that at jimmyclever.com. Log on to jimmyclever.com. J3 Jingles, if you need skits, commercials, and jingles, we're doing that. And we, we, we got our own studio again. So thank God for that. So we're gonna, we about to get back in the lab. I was just talking with him the other day. We about to get back in the lab and go right back at it. Now, I wanna jump to the last subject we're gonna talk about. 
and that's bounce music. So, you know that we're doing the 2012 Bounce Music Award, and from I heard from a little birdie that somehow you're going to be a part of that mix. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and, and some very unique ways out on top of that, man. So, what do you think about the state of bounce music and, and, and how it's grown since Katrina? And and where do you see that going right now? And, and the Bounce Music Award. Well, bounce music for one is now like part of the culture, like second line music and jazz. Bounce music is now part of the culture. That's like, that's like Cornerstone. That's like when you come to New Orleans, you got to get you some beignets. You got to get you a daiquiri, a hurricane. You got to catch some Mardi Gras. You got to go to a second line. You got to get some gumbo. And you got to get you some of that beat in your life. And yes, you know, I, I have been pulled into it. I got a bounce song now. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's, it was produced by Blazer, and I'm working on another one produced by DJ K Real. I, I know that you have that artistic side of you, that you, you are an artist, dearly, besides a producer. So I know that artistic side of you. I watched you rock club, club, club. Um, you know, I'm talking about no beat, no nothing. You just rock a crowd. With, with just what comes out of your mouth. So, you know, for me, that's really not a surprise, but for others, it may be. Man, look, I enjoy it. You know, I, my hands go off to Big Frida, Sissy Novi. A lot of people don't know. Big Frida damn near sold out Madison Square Garden in New York. Big Frida right now has been going on tours. So, and I hear a lot of the local artists, and this is to all my local artists out here that do hip hop. Don't say that, man, y'all, all y'all want to play is Bounce. Bounce is now part of the music community. Yes. They found their niche, and the world wants to see it. Bounce music is like New Orleans Jamaican music. Yes. When you go to Kingston, when I'm in Kingston in Jamaica, and you watch how they dance the dance hall, Bounce is our own version of dance hall. Pretty much, pretty much, man. It's going down. Now, the, 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 you heard me, 2012 Bounce Music Award. Tell me a little bit about what you're going to be doing with that, if you can tell me. Well, I, I don't want to let the cat out the bag, but I'm going to be a big part of that, you know. And, of course, you know, you will see me and you will hear me. I'm going to say that. It's going down right here, man, Club Braxton. 639 Franklin Avenue in Gretna, Louisiana. You got to come check out my man, Hurt the Human Hummer. Every Friday over here, man, it's going down. Shout out to Money Mike Willis. Shout out to my man Shine Baby, Black House Entertainment. Shout out my dude K Real. It's popping on real, real big, man. I'm going to let you take it out because you're all so good with a microphone yourself. Hey, man, look, just like we say, we're doing it right here at Braxton's in Cretna, over on the West Bank. You already know what the business is. Money Mike Willis. Black House Entertainment, them definites and DJs. Hey, if it ain't good, it ain't nothing. But let me tell you first, it's all good TV, baby. Go down, love you, miss y'all, man.